This one simple trick is going to help avoid a $50 repair bill turning into a $500 repair bill by reminding you to do one of the most important maintenance checks. So what is this magical trick? Well, it's gonna help you regularly check the wear of your chain so that when it becomes worn out, you can just replace the chain only rather than having to replace the entire drivetrain components at great expense. And to do this, you're gonna need a smartphone and utilize two pretty simple apps, the calendar and a ride logging platform. Now the examples that I'm gonna give in this video are Strava, but there are lots of different ones out there with pretty similar functionality. And when it comes to Strava, this trick is gonna work for both the free and the premium version. Okay, right, first thing you're gonna to need to do is load up the Strava app. Once the app is loaded, click down in the bottom right-hand corner onto the U tab. From there, you can click on your little profile icon Scroll down until you start to see the tab called gear. Select gear, and then from here, you can use the plus symbol in the top right corner to add all of the different details and information about your bike, such as nickname, the bike type, the brand, the model, the weight, and importantly, the notes section. Once you've added all this information in, it's gonna store that bike within the Strava app. And then at this point, when you then upload your next activity, you can go in and select this bike at the same stage as when you're naming your ride and giving it some sort of witty title, like easy ride when you know full well it's been the toughest ride that you've done for the last 12 months. And then at that stage, it's important to make sure that you've selected the right bike, specifically if you've added multiple different bikes in. So the right distance is allocated to the right bike. Pretty simple, eh? By doing this, you can keep tabs on the distances that that bike and therefore all the parts has covered. And then the bottom section, the details of all of the bikes, you've got a notes section where you can add information when you say change or replace parts by adding in the date and the mileage that the part has covered. That way you can kind of keep track on what's going on. Of course, having all this information is still gonna rely upon you physically checking the bike, but that's actually pretty simple. Almost all checks on your bike can be made by simply visually like assessing it or audibly, so listening to things like the wheel bearings, spinning like that, but the most important thing is we're talking about your chain. Now your chain can't be assessed visually. To do that, you're gonna need a chain checker. Thankfully, there's loads of different ones out there and they're actually pretty reasonably priced. Park Tools one is the CC 3.2 and it's pretty much gonna be a tool for life. By regularly checking your chain, say once every one or two months, depending on the kind of conditions that you're riding in, how regularly you actually clean and maintain it, and also just, how often you're actually riding your bike. It's all gonna have an impact. But by regularly checking chain, when it does reach the point of needing to be replaced, you can replace it rather than continuing to ride it and destroying the cassette, the chain rings, and the pulley wheels. Now it's gonna depend on what chain and system and gears your bike has got on it as to when it needs to be replaced. Now, if your bike has 11 or more speeds, you need to replace the chain when it reaches a 0.5% wear rate. If it has 11, no, 10, or less speeds, you have to replace it at 0.75% wear. And then if you're using a single speed bike, you can replace it when it gets to 1% wear. Pretty simple. Now this is the stage where the calendar app on your phone comes into play because you can set a recurring reminder on a day that you're actually likely to go out and check the chain wear on your bike to remind you to head out and do it. Say you do that every one to two months. You can adjust that depending on how regularly you ride it. I would say if you're able to do it every month, that's probably the best thing to do. That way you can make sure to catch your chain before the wear rate gets too far and you start to wear out the other components. Because it's important to remember that the wear rate of your chain is not linear. So everything is gonna seem fine, 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 fine until eventually, once that first little bit of wear sets in, the rate of wear is gonna accelerate and go absolutely through the roof. So if you don't catch it in time, it's no good spending sort of like two months checking chain going, oh, it's fine, I'll leave it for another two months, six months, because at the end, boom, it'll be game over. Um, and this stage is when you need to replace your chain. So if you do do that, you can then go into your Strava app or whatever ride logging platform you're using. And in that notes section, you can make a note and say, hey, look, I've replaced the chain at this mileage of the bike on this date. And then when you go back and keep doing these regular checks, you can create your own little log of when you replace lots of different components. Now I'm talking about the chain as the example here because it's the part which is most susceptible to wear, but you could do this with say brake pads, headsets, tires, you name it. You can add this information in and it's kind of like building up a maintenance log, much like what you would do with a car. It means you can keep tabs of it and the better job of keeping track of everything, 
well, the better your bike's gonna last, it's gonna save you more money. Yes, this all does seem like quite an additional bit of faff, but I think it's pretty fair to say that the majority of us are pretty guilty for not regularly checking our chains as frequently as we perhaps should. And then by doing this, we are likely to save ourselves a little bit more money and make riding our bikes a far more pleasurable experience, which I think is a good thing. Now, this does also lead to quite an important question, which is, how do you actually make your chain last longer? Well, thankfully, I've recently filmed a couple of videos with Adam from Zero Friction Cycling, who are like independent industry leaders for testing all different things like chain lubes and efficiencies to make your chain last longer. So subscribe to GCN Tech, and that way you won't miss out when we upload those videos, because some really important information there as to what you can do that is actually cost effective to make your chain last up to 10 times longer. Right. Please do let me know in the comments section down below how regularly you check your chain. And if you think adding a reminder in your calendar and tracking the wear rates on an app like Strava is something that you're gonna do in the future. And um, yeah, as I said, subscribe to GCN Tech, give this video a thumbs up, share it far and wide with your friends. And um, well, see you same time next week. Bye.